Hello everyone. Uh, today in this tutorial we will talk about how to perform RMA normalization and then annotation using the microarray dataset. So for that what we have uh, to do is to first we need to have uh, our studio or our installed in our uh, computer and then uh, next thing is we need to have a data set of microarray which will be used for performing the RMA normalization and and uh, annotation so uh, the data set if I just show you here that I have just downloaded uh, some part of the data uh, which is of microarray and these are the 10 samples here each sample has a GSM ID and then that is the cell extension that cell is for the FE matrix microarray platform and uh, I have downloaded this from geo database if I just show you how I downloaded it, for example I'm just writing the name of one uh, sample here and if I just search it here, you can see that uh, this is the ID and the out I downloaded from this series, right? So this series here, you can see that there is a data set of breast cancer and um, they have performed, <coughs> they have a total number of 24 samples or something and I have downloaded some part of the data, right? And this data uh, set belongs to FE matrix platform this FE matrix platform so I've downloaded it and I have saved it in my computer and this is the soft file which I used for the which I will be using here for annotation and that is downloaded from here so I've just modified this soft file if I show you here that uh, mainly the soft file contains all the annotation information right and out of that annotation information uh, there are a lot of things which are extra so before performing the analysis uh, you have to exclude that uh, soft uh, file information in the beginning there are a lot of columns which are uh, which are just about the description of the data and you just exclude that and start it from where the probe IDs are starting and uh, and keep the header on and then the probe ID this is the probe ID for for example any gene uh, this DDR gene right so this is the probe ID for Pax8 gene. So, uh, like this, you have the annotation of all the probes. So, using this file and these cell files, I will be doing uh, uh, our. Uh, I will be using our bioconductor packages for the analysis. So, first of all, you need to have all the files uh, installed. Uh, all the packages which are necessary for uh, normalization and uh, annotation should be installed. So these are the commands. You need to run each command separately. It will take a bit of time and then these will be installed. Right after that, let's suppose I start with first setting the di working directory here. So the working directory, my working directory is E uh, channel and then cancel data right so I just search it and I have just set the working directory as e cancel data next step is what I have to do is to uh, uh, call all the libraries which are important here for example if I want to use this uh, geo query packages for the geo data sets if you want to download or run them right the next one is library oligo this is one more important uh, package for uh, only go right and then library uh, another one is biobase if first after installing these packages you have to call them by calling the library right and library fe package and then library uh, there's another uh, I will show you uh, I will explain why I am uh, using this one slip split stack shape right this is for using the file and then the DPL YR package for selecting different columns and data frames right so here uh, first TDA this is part of DPL YR package. If the uh, the DP uh, YLR package is not installed in your computer, you can also install using bio C manager install command and just write DPL YR and this will be installed. And lastly, if you want to check the quality of the data, that what is the quality of the data, you can use that by uh, array 
quality metrics right so these are the few uh, uh, libraries which you will be needing for the analysis right so after running all these right so now these are uh, now next step is to start your analysis so first thing what you need to do is to call all the cell files which are just writing the names of the cell file list dot cell files and then just run this command so if I just do this you can see here that the there are total number of 10 cell files and uh, and now I'm just uh, reading those so for that if I share save that in fe raw files and I just want to read them cell files and I just write the cell file which I have stored in this command right so if I just run this so it will start running these files right so now these 10 files are ready and then now I perform the normalization so for that e set and oligo rma and then i normalization uh, rma normalization on fe raw right, right so when i run this command it will start to normalize the files i have uh, loaded using the read dot cell files uh, command and then uh, it, it will perform multiple steps uh, to uh, to to normalize this data for example first step is to uh, do the background correcting of the data and then the normalizing the data and then calculating the expression of each each probe in the present in the uh, cell files in the data set right now i want to write this uh, uh, expression data set uh, into one file and for that I'm writing write dot expression is set because the all the values are saved here and I want to save that in the file data one dot text so just if you s just write uh, run this command you can see that the file is now should be saved here data one right now this one is the uh, data one file here if I open this file you can see here that th these are the samples total number of sample 10 samples these are the probe IDs and then these are the expression values of each probe ID so here the gene information is not uh, included so we want to annotate these probe IDs against the genes so for that we will do the next steps a lot of students asked about uh, the annotation so this is for them so you can use this uh, algorithm or this these commands to perform the annotation right so next thing is we want to if you want to check the quality of the data you can use that um, uh, array quality metrics command and you can find the results right uh, this is just uh, you just need to write uh, use this uh, array quality command here now first uh, we are going to annotate so I am saving all the file uh, all the uh, uh, annotation uh, information that is from the uh, soft file into this my data variable so I'm just writing here read dot delim and then the GSE if you can see uh, underscore family dot soft one file and I want to save it into my data and then check dot names let's do false right just write it down here and now the sort file will be saved in this command right so this sort file actually contains all the information of the annotation now I want to make the data frame of this for example this is uh, data data dot frame and then my data and I make the data frame of this and next step now if I want to uh, split the 
uh, files because if you see this is one uh, and, uh, extra command here you can see that there are a lot of uh, slashes before the gene so I want if I want to remove those slashes and I want to make one uh, value of gene symbol for each gene what I will do here is to uh, split that for example I'm just this is the split dot stack shape command which I am using here that C split and then the, uh, the data frame ABC and then the uh, the column that is gene symbol and I want to uh, split it by slash so that will split the all the values present in that symbol into a single value and all the other values will be split by slash so now I just to make that uh, uh, save that new file into another variable that is for example file equals to .text, import m1.txt and I want to make that uh, file as tab separated by tab so tab and then row.names equals to false and quote equals to false right so just by writing this I will write this this new file here and here you can see the new file which is the important in this one here you can see that here if you see that there are all the values are slash change you the, you can notice that in the new uh, in the new when I will combine those annotation and provide you can understand that very easily or if you want to see this in detail you can open that in the excel file for yourself right so next thing is after writing this now we want to combine these two together right so first of all I want to combine those two uh, based on the what one column that is the ID so there are two files mainly one is the data sorry if I open it here you can see that this data file and the other one is important this file so I want to combine based on the ID so the, here the header is ID but if you see the data one file here there is no ID so I just write it here so that it will come when it will compare the two uh, files it will use this common probe ID between these two files and, and make a combined file a com uh, containing the expression values and the probe IDs and the gene names in this way we can annotate the file so the, the, the commands we need for that is for example uh, data1 read.delim and uh, important one text file and then check dot means false and data2 read dot delim and then uh, the other expression file that is data one dot text which we have already saved in data one dot text and then check dot names false right so by this these two commands for example I have saved that in data one and then I have saved that in data two now we want to combine it right so just using the left join command uh, for example uh, I'm just writing combined and left underscore join data1 comma data2 and join it by ID right so by this it will uh, combine these files together and then I will see I will show you after writing that into a CSV file write dot CSV combined for example annotated dot csv so if I just run this command you can see it will take a slide depending on the data set it will take time uh, I have very few samples which are only 10 still you can see it is taking 5 to 10 seconds or 15 seconds 
to write that into the annotated file. Now it's ready. And so here you can see this is the file, annotated file uh, of the uh, of these ten samples which have the probe IDs and the gene IDs and the expression values. So here you can see that these are the probe IDs, these are the gene symbols and these are actually slash. Here you can see that after writing the slash you can see that uh, this gene ID had two values. One is DDR1 and this one. So these are separated into two different columns and you can see that uh, and this is these are the expression values uh, for the 10 samples. For example if you just select them you can see that these are 10 samples and this probe ID has the expression value is 9.51 and the gene name is DDR1. So here, so I think uh, that's enough, enough for now. Here you can see that all the commands required for performing the loading the data, normalizing the data and then annotating the data against the gene IDs is done. So I think this uh, will help you and all the students who are asking the question about how to do the annotation uh, they will get to know through this video. So thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope uh, you will understand it thoroughly and if you have any questions you can ask me in the question bar. Thank you. Bye-bye.